crisp tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use CRISP, the ultimate customer support and communication platform. CRISP is an all-in-one business messaging platform that brings together teams, conversations, data, and knowledge in one centralized place. It provides businesses with a seamless and efficient solution for communication and customer support. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an account and explore the different features and functionalities that CRISP has to offer. Additionally, you will learn how to create an email campaign with CRISP. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using CRISP, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Use CRISP for Free button. This will redirect you to the registration page. On the registration page, you will need to provide some basic information. Enter your first name, last name, email address, and create a strong password for your account. Once you have entered this information, click on the Continue button to proceed. Next, you will be asked to provide details about your company. Enter your company name and website URL in the respective fields. Once you have entered this information, click on the Continue button to move forward. After completing these steps, your account will be created. To access your account dashboard, click on the Discover My Dashboard button. This will take you to your account dashboard where you can start exploring the various features and settings offered by CRISP. The dashboard serves as the central hub for all the tools and functionalities provided by CRISP. Once you access your account dashboard, you will notice a left menu that houses important tabs, each serving a specific function. Located at the top of the left menu, the account section allows you to manage your account settings and create a new CRISP website. From here, you can customize your account preferences to ensure a tailored experience. The Inbox tab provides a convenient way to view and manage your messages. You can easily navigate through various categories such as Unread, Unresolved, Mention, Most Recent, and Resolved. This categorization helps you stay organized and prioritize your interactions effectively. In the Visitor tab, you can get a live overview of who is currently browsing your website from any location around the world. It displays online users and active users on an interactive map, giving you valuable insights into visitor behavior and engagement. The Contacts tab allows you to view your contacts in a list format. You can see important information such as their name, location, company, segment, last active status, score, and take action accordingly. This feature enables you to keep track of your contacts and manage relationships efficiently. Within the Campaigns tab, you can view the campaigns you have created to send emails to targeted contacts. You can review both automated and one-shot campaigns and also access tags and templates to streamline your campaign creation process. If you haven't created any campaigns yet, this page will be empty. To create a new campaign, simply click on the New Campaign button and follow the on-screen prompts. In the Help Desk tab, you can easily access and view articles along with their corresponding categories. This section allows you to browse through a collection of articles, including those that are published, in draft form, visible, and hidden. If you haven't created any articles yet, this page will initially appear empty. However, you can create new articles by simply clicking on the New Article button. Additionally, you have the option to import articles by clicking on the Import Articles button, making it convenient to populate your help desk with existing content. Within the Analytics tab, you can gain valuable insights by viewing analytics related to various aspects of your CRISP account. You can access statistics and metrics related to messaging, contacts, rating, campaigns, help desk, and status. This feature allows you to track performance, measure engagement, and make informed decisions based on the data provided. The Plugins tab offers a comprehensive view of all the available plugins provided by CRISP. These plugins are conveniently divided into different categories, making it easy to navigate and find relevant options. By clicking on any of the categories, you can explore and install plugins that match your specific needs or requirements. This feature enhances the functionality and customization options available within your CRISP account. Clicking on the Integrations tab opens up a pop-up window that presents various integration options. These integrations include popular platforms such as Shopify, Messenger, email, and more. If you wish to explore all the available integrations, you can simply click on the See All Integrations button. 
This feature allows you to seamlessly connect different tools and services, expanding the capabilities of your CRISP account and streamlining your workflows. The search bar provides a convenient way to find specific information within your CRISP account. By using the search function, you can quickly locate messages, contacts, help desk articles, and plugins. This feature saves time and ensures easy access to the desired content or functionality. The Settings tab offers a comprehensive range of options to manage different aspects of your CRISP account. Here you can customize settings related to your account, notifications, availability, cards, and invoices, plans, and subscriptions, website settings, message shortcuts, help desk configuration, and status page. This section provides you with complete control over the configuration and customization of your CRISP experience, allowing you to tailor it to your specific needs and preferences. Now, let's see how to create a new campaign in CRISP. To create a new campaign in CRISP, you need to follow a few simple steps. First, navigate to the left menu and click on the Campaigns tab. This will take you to a page where you can see all your existing campaigns along with details such as the campaign name, status, number of contacts, last update, and action. On this page, you also have the option to create a new campaign. To do so, click on the Plus New Campaign button. A pop-up window will appear with two options, One-Shot Campaign and Automated Campaign. For this tutorial, let's select the One-Shot Campaign option. This means that the campaign will be sent out to all targeted contacts, such as a product newsletter. If you choose the Automated Campaign option, the campaign will be sent out automatically based on specific events like reminding inactive contacts. After selecting the campaign type, click on the Continue with this campaign type button to proceed. Next, you will need to enter a name for your campaign in the Name of the Campaign field. Once you have done that, click on the Start Configuring My Campaign button to move on to the next step. At this point, the initial setup for your campaign will be created, and you will be taken to the campaign page where you can start configuring it according to your requirements. Once you have entered the campaign and completed the initial setup, there are four stages to further configure your campaign. The first stage is recipients. In this step, you need to add recipients to your campaign. You can either search for specific recipients or select targeted recipients from the list provided. Once you have added the desired recipients, click on the Save and Next button to move on to the next stage. The second stage is templates. Here you will choose a template for your campaign from the options given. If you do not wish to use any of the provided templates, you can simply click on the Ignore This Step button to skip this stage and move on to the next one. The third stage is the editor. In this stage, you will add content to your campaign. You can use the top bar to add various elements such as text, images, buttons, and more to customize your campaign. Simply start typing in the blank page to add your content. If you want to preview how your campaign looks, you can click on the Preview button. Once you are satisfied with the content, click on the blue checkmark button located at the bottom right side of the window to save your campaign. Then, click the green button with an arrow in the same position. A pop-up window will appear where you can finalize your campaign. In this window, click on the Send Campaign button to send out your campaign. Following these steps, you can effectively set up and configure your campaign in CRISP, ensuring that it reaches the right recipients with engaging content. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using CRISP. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.